ready to go. Actually, I'll probably put it three or four more still together. But uh, we're not cutting the grass so far right now this year because we are letting uh, our bacon makers eat. Eat. And uh, this is our bacon, egg, and food forest. There's the bacon. There's the eggs. There's the dogs. <laughs> There's some bacon, and a couple of them are showing a few signs they might, one of the sows might be thinking about coming in heat, and the little boy's getting kind of fat, interested in her little boy pig, so, and they're doing pretty good since we've got them over here. They did a little rooting when we first put them into the, uh, back in, where, so they get up here, um, but they rooted up where the where I had the chicken waters and they're eating worms, so now they're now they're doing more grass eating, and we feed them some feed a couple once or twice a day. What I'm a little worried about is their proximity to some of my smaller plants, and uh, dogs and the pigs are doing mostly pretty good. We got a little, little bit of problem with uh, our new dog. It's not terrible, but. It's still fun to watch the, the pigs eat grass. <laughs> it's still interesting to see them doing it. So by the by the time summer's over, hopefully we might have a pregnant pig. So like I said, this is our, this is our bacon, egg, and food forest. And uh, I'm going to go take some more pictures of the mulberries. Um, also got a and we walk over here by the by the persimmon. Did root some up here. Um, hopefully, they won't be doing a whole heck of a lot of this because I always want to ring some noses. Got some wild plums here, but they don't look like they put on any fruit this year. Um, and uh, I'm gonna walk up here. Got a whole bunch of little oats. Probably what they're after. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to let this go again for a few minutes. Oh, yeah, they rooted quite a little bit. They a decent little amount up here. That's not what I want them to do. <laughs> Probably after the worms, although... All right. And my chestnuts are... Got a lot of greenery on them. I don't see any signs of... Uh, I don't see any signs of fruit yet. See any signs of fruit? Whoop, I see. I think I might see some over there. But more of my chestnuts. And I got one over here. I think I might see some male catons on. Eh, not yet. A little early, I guess. Alright, and now for the, the showstopper. My uh, my mulberry is really getting going. My wife likes cobbler, but she doesn't like the seeds from a blackberry cobbler. And she and I were talking uh, yesterday or day before, I forget which. And she says, you know what I'm going to try? I'm going to try some mulberry cobbler. And I said, that actually sounds interesting. Anyway. They're just absolutely loaded. This one's just absolutely loaded. Um, he's the only one that is, or she's the only one that is. And uh, my wife also took a took pictures of my wild cherry. Um, it died at the root. Had a domestic cherry. It died at the root, and these came up. And I said, I'm probably going to cut those now. She said, No, it's so pretty. <laughs> Which they are. They're pretty in the. They're pretty in the uh, when uh, when they're blooming. But uh, I don't do much else than that. So, all right, I'm gonna let this go. Um, just a little bit of the bacon, egg, and food forest. And the pigs and the chickens are all doing pretty well together. And I got chickens already starting to try to hang out in the tree. So, uh, anyway, I think it's loaded, man. <laughs> Ain't no other way to say it. it is loaded. All right, I'm gonna let this go. And our rabbits are still up here where they're eating grass now and got some 
I cut some pear limbs off for them to munch on. And they did a pretty, pretty decent job of eating that. I think she didn't give them this one any grass or else she ate it all already. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to let this go. Uh, got some more rabbits over here. I guess I should could show these. And they're doing pretty good. These are some we didn't kill. Um, we'll... We'll be making some decisions. I don't. I don't know if we're going to kill any this weekend. Or we're going to wait till next weekend to kill a few more. Um, but we are going to separate some more this week. And uh, the chickens still get to hang out underneath and and uh, scratch around. And I throw anything like compost up underneath this cage over here. And uh, the the uh, tent is to keep the pigs from going in. And uh, one of the dogs likes to jump over. So uh, anyway, this is getting nicely filled with uh, with compost, and so we'll probably dig some of it out here this uh, in the next little while. Let me see if I can get back here. There you go. Just throw all the compost stuff down underneath there, and let the chickens scratch it. And uh, that's quite a nice little pile of stuff. So all right, I'm gonna go ahead and let this go, and the chickens are already playing around and. Uh, a couple of maggot but that's an old maggot bucket this one this one i made this weekend and uh see a few might see a few signs of maggots but i think they ate them all <laughs> so all right i'm gonna let this go i if you enjoy this sort of thing i would ask you to subscribe